Hey guys, so it's been quite a while since I've posted um, a speed paint on my YouTube channel and it's actually been quite a while since I've done a lot of drawing anyways. Um, the last few months I haven't been drawing a whole lot um, and that's partly because since I got a new tablet this summer, I think it was this summer, recently, um, I've been trying to do more digital line art um, because for a long time I've been drawing by hand and then I'll scan it and then I'll color it digitally, but I don't draw digitally, digitally very much. Um, so I'm trying to get better at that, but because I'm not that great at that yet, it makes it more frustrating to draw and I guess I just haven't been drawing as much. So I decided I was gonna sit down and draw by hand like the good old days, like I used to do, um, just to get back into that drawing groove. And it's also been a very, very long time since I've colored things by hand. When I first started drawing, I colored everything traditionally with like pencil crayons and markers and watercolor and all that kind of stuff. Mostly pencil crayons. Um, or I guess colored pencils is what Americans call them. We call them pencil crayons in Canada. Anyways, that's how I colored for a long time. Um, and then I got a tablet, a cheap bad tablet, but I got a tablet and I started coloring things digitally even though I still drew them by hand because the tablet wasn't that great for drawing, but it was okay for coloring. Um, but I really miss coloring by hand. Honestly, I really, really enjoy the feeling of drawing and coloring with a piece of paper by hand. I just find it so much more soothing and so much more fun. Um, and I can just spend way longer on a drawing by hand. I don't know, I just prefer it. But I find it super, super hard to scan a colored image and post that online and have it look good. I guess just my scanner's not very good, but every time I draw something by hand um, and then scan it and post it online, it just doesn't look great. So that's sort of why I gave up on coloring by hand, just because I could never post it online very well. Um, but this video, long introduction, um, is uh, a video of me drawing, as you can see, Lars from Steven Universe from the most recent episodes, which were great, by the way. Um, and I'm drawing it by hand, inking it by hand, and I'm gonna color it by hand, and then um, I scanned in the inked version, and I also am going to show you my coloring digitally. So two versions of the same drawing, one by hand, one digitally, just to sort of compare how I do things by hand, how I do things digitally, and how they turn out differently. Um, just because. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. Um, as you can see, um, as I was talking there, I was drawing it by hand by pen in pencil, which is how I draw most things. Um, usually I use a mechanical pencil. I press pretty hard with the pencil. So then when I'm coloring, you can kind of still see a little bit of the pencil and the indents in the paper under the color and it just looks worse. And that's also why I don't um, color by hand as much. Um, but you know, I should practice more. <laughs> anyway, so you just saw I inked it. I added a few details with the inking. It's not like the best inking I've ever done, but I mean, I don't know. I hadn't drawn in a while. So now I'm coloring with um, just mostly Crayola pencil crayons. Um, I find Crayola is quite good and not expensive. Um, literally any other cheap brand of pencil crayons like that you get at the dollar store or whatever are usually terrible, but Crayola is actually really good. I've always used Crayola. Um, I mean, I've never used like really expensive artist ones, so maybe the artists, the fancy, fancy ones are way better, but I found Crayola works great. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else there really is to say about the coloring here. Coloring by hand, um, going off more or less the colors um, from the episodes. Speaking of which, um, if you have not yet watched the new episodes of Steven Universe that came out a few weeks ago, I think, um, they're very, very, very good. I, I love Steven Universe. I honestly think it's one of my favorite shows ever. And every time new episodes come out, unfortunately very slowly because that show has like a really weird episode schedule. But when they do come out, they're always really good. It adds so much to like the lore and the story while also being fun. And I don't know, it's just really good. If you haven't watched it yet, this isn't much of a spoiler kind of is Lars ends up wearing this outfit. That There's your spoiler. Um, I really love Lars. I've always loved Lars. I always thought he was a really interesting character. The fact that he's not the nicest person ever, but people still like him and he still wants to be liked. And I don't know, I think he's a really interesting character and the most recent episodes um, have really added to his character, I think, which makes me really happy because when you add to my favorite character's lore, I enjoy that. Um, and this outfit is super rad, so I really wanted to draw it. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but I kind of made the bad decision of choosing quite a dark blue to start with, um, which makes it harder to shade. And also I kept running into the problem of, um, because I pressed so hard with the pencil, you could see some of the pencil underneath, not the pencil, but like the indents left in the paper. And then I had to press harder with the blue to kind of cover up those indents. And then it made like kind of not the best shading. So this blue didn't turn out like great, but like I said, I haven't drawn much lately and I haven't colored by hand literally in years. Um, 
when I first started drawing, um, when I was like, I don't know, I mean, I drew as a kid, obviously, like everyone draws as a kid, but when I first started like drawing fan art and posting it on the internet, I was like 13 or 14. I had a DeviantArt account and it was all like colored with pencil crayons, occasionally markers, occasionally watercolor, but mostly pencil crayons. Um, that's like all I did for ages. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it and I still really enjoy it. So I hope maybe I'll get a better scanner at some point or just learn how to scan better. If anyone does traditional art and has any tips on posting traditional art online and making it like look good when you take a picture or a scan, please let me know because I would love to post more traditional art online, but I just can't ever get a good picture. Um, it drives me crazy. But anyways, uh, yeah, so then I moved to digital art because I just found that the end result to post online looked better, even though I actually enjoy the process of drawing traditionally more. I don't know, the struggle. Um, but you should let me know in the comments um, if you're an artist or if you do any kind of art. Um, do you prefer digital? Do you prefer um, doing it by hand? Um, do you prefer like what I do most of the time, which is draw by hand, uh, scan it in, and then color it digitally? Um, that's always been my process. I really wanna to try to get better at digital line art just cause it sort of cuts out the in-between step of having to drop a hand, scan it. And the scan is never quite as good as digital line art is because there's always like some imperfections. Um, because again, I don't have a great scanner and um, I press too hard when I ink and whatever. So yeah, I'd love to be able to make my art better in both digital and traditional, which I guess is always the goal. Um, but I really, really enjoy drawing this by hand. I didn't even realize how much I missed coloring traditionally until I sat down and did it. And man, it's just so nice. I can just I can just shade and blend colors so much more naturally than digital. I don't know. I've never been great at shading digitally, but by hand, it just feels so natural. You know, you just like physically blend those colors together and it feels so good. Um, man, I love traditional art. Yeah, like I said, you should let me know. If you do digital art, if you do traditional art, um, what you prefer and how you do it and give me any tips you have. Um, so here is the final result of my traditionally colored art. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad on the video, but as soon as I tried to take a picture or scan it to post it online, it just it just didn't translate well. And it looks better even in real life than it does in the video, I swear. Um, it's just really hard to translate traditional art into a digital medium. I don't know how people do it. Um, but anyways, that's the final result. I like it, I'm proud of it. So here is me um, taking that scan of the line art that I did by hand and not only coloring, usually I would just keep the line art that I scanned and just color over it, but I wanted to like go all the way. Um, and also the scan wasn't great. So I am inking it digitally and going to color it digitally. Um, and you will see as I ink it, how infuriating it is to ink digitally, at least for me, because you have to go over the lines over and over to try to get the perfect line. You just have so much less control, I find, when you do it digitally. The nice thing is, of course, that you can undo when something doesn't turn out right, but I find you have to do it so many more times to make it turn out right. Like, you just, there's just the little disconnect between the, the tablet and what's on the screen, and it's never quite the same. And like here, you'll see, I do this freaking line on his collar like 25 times if I was, inking by hand, I mean, I would go slowly and I would do it once and if I messed up, it would suck, but I would only have to do it once. Um, I don't know, that's just me. Some people definitely way prefer digital um, and I think it's just preference and I wish I liked digital art more than I do because I love the result. I wish I was better at it. Whenever I see people with really good digital art, I'm so jealous, but I just find I can never quite get it right. Um, but I don't know, this didn't turn out terrible. Like. I'm pretty proud of how this line art turned out, I guess. Um, so yeah, like I said, you're just gonna see me inking this for a while, take some time. Um, to take way longer to ink this digitally than it did to ink by hand. The clip here where I was inking by hand was like really, really brief, um, but this is like a good chunk of the video. So I mean, different, different, I don't know. It's different, it's definitely different. Um, I don't know, what else is there to talk about? Lars, love that kid digital versus traditional, it's an interesting concept. Um, yeah, like I said, if you have any tips, tips and tricks to post traditional art online, I would love to do more traditional art and actually post it online. Um, but yeah, here we are, just about done the line art. Um, and then the other thing about the coloring is I've been digital coloring for a while and I've gone through a few different phases where I do it in different ways. Right now, I just fill in the blocks of um, color just like plain flat colors. And then I basically shade with like one layer of shadow and one layer of like highlights and blend that all on top and then call it a day. Um, because like I said, I just find it so tedious to shade 
traditionally, or sorry, I find it tedious to shade digitally, whereas I could spend ages shading traditionally, and I don't really know what that's about. I don't really know what the difference is. It just doesn't feel the same to me. Um, but if you, if you have any um, tips for shading digitally and making it feel smooth and natural, um, I'd love to hear that too, because I don't know, I'm always trying to experiment, get better. I do watch a lot of speed paints um, to try to like learn from them, I guess, but I don't know, I find it hard to watch a speed paint and know exactly what the person's doing and be able to like replicate it in your own art. I don't know, maybe that's just me, um, but I watch all these speed paints and then I try to like replicate what they're doing and it, it never turns out the way I want it to, um, but that's art, I guess, isn't it? Um, the colors here are pretty cool. I, I like the, not only this outfit Lars has, but like the colors. I like it, it's a good color palette. Um, um, it, it worked well, I don't know. And the other thing about coloring traditionally is I find like you have a more limited range of options for colors because you only have as many colors as you have pencil crayons, whereas digitally you essentially have infinite color possibilities. But then I also find it easier to pick colors traditionally because I have less options. I just have to go with what I have. Whereas digitally, sometimes it's overwhelming. You're like, you have literally every color at your disposal. Which one do you pick? How do you color pick? Um, and then I find I often don't pick exactly the color I wanted. But um, anyways, you're gonna see me here doing my really lazy um, shading and highlighting where I just plop on some purpley gray for a shadow, plop some like lighter color for highlights, blend it all in and call it a day. Um, I like how that looks when I um, have more like sketchy pencil line art, but when I do like legit full dark lines line art, if that makes sense, like more inking line art, then I find this shading style doesn't turn out as great. It looks a little, I don't know, it's more obvious that I just like use the blend tool. I don't know. Um, but ultimately, I'm pretty proud of how this drawing turned out both digitally and traditionally. Um, I posted the digital version on my blog, uh, on my art blog, which I'll link to in the description. Um, I didn't post the, the traditional one anywhere because like I said, I just find it so hard to get a good scan. Um, but I did post this version right here, the digital version on my blog. And you know what? I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I like Lars, I like this outfit, and I had a lot of fun doing this both traditionally and digitally. So if you enjoyed it, um, you can leave a comment, let me know what you think, like this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. I do art videos sometimes and I also do videos about nerdy things like anime and Homestuck and all kinds of stuff that I enjoy. So thanks for watching!